Marissa wants to buy a home in Atlanta with a 30-year mortgage that has an annual interest rate of 4.9%. The house she wants is $250,000, and she'll make a $20,000 down payment and borrow the remainder. Use the following formula to determine Marissa's monthly mortgage payment to the nearest dollar. Then, we are given the formula and what each variable is. Let's first make any connections of important values needed for the formula, being careful to not mix up any values. I see that the first variable, m, is monthly payment, which is what I'm being asked to find. p is the amount borrowed. We will need the total price of $250,000 and how much she can pay now, $20,000. Next, we need r, the annual interest rate. We're going to use 4.9%, which, when written as a decimal, is 0 0.049. Lastly, we need n total number of monthly payments, which is how long the loan is, 30 years, which when multiplied by 12 months is equal to 360 months. Now that I have identified the different values I need, I can plug them directly into the correct spots in the formula given to us. P is going to equal our amount borrowed, which is total cost 250,000 minus her down payment 20,000. Then R is 0 0.049 divided by 12, Remember that we are dividing by 12 so that our annual interest rate becomes a monthly rate. Next, 1 added to that value again, and that sum will be taken to the nth degree of months, 360 months. All of these multiplied together will then need to be divided by the denominator. In parentheses, I can write 1 plus our rate over 12 again, all of this with an exponent of 360 months, then minus 1. Now that we've got all of our values in the correct spots in the formula, we can go ahead and calculate using order of operations. In the previous Learn It video, I rounded some of those decimals, but in this video, I'll show you how to use a graphing calculator to solve the most accurate value. I'm going to start with the numerator at the top and go left to right. 250,000 minus 20,000 equals 230,000. Here's calculator tip number one. Use the answer function. That means that whatever answer I got in the most recent calculation will be applied to whatever upcoming calculation I want so I don't have to retype or round any decimals. I can do this by clicking the ANS button, which I see is in text above another button, so I need to first click the second button, also sometimes labeled the shift button, and then the ANS button. So I'll take my previous answer of 230,000 and multiply it by 0 0.049 over 12. Now. Here's calculator tip number two. Use parentheses for order of operations and groupings. If I want 0 0.049 divided by 12 to be contained in parentheses, I can type in my previous answer times open parentheses 0 0.049 divided by 12, close parentheses, and that will give me 939.1 repeating six. The last part in our numerator is to add one to our monthly rate and take it to the 360th power. I can use that answer function again to just continue multiplying and then open parentheses again with one plus our monthly rate. Looks like we'll need another set of parentheses. So we can type in another open parentheses, 0 0.049 divided by 12 again, and then two closed parentheses, one for the monthly rate and another for the plus one. It may get a little tricky keeping track of all of the parentheses, so be careful typing those in or you may get an error. The next part will require more layers of parentheses. But before we get there though, here's calculator tip number three. Use the caret button for exponents. This little up arrow button means you can take any value and raise it to any power. We need the value in the parentheses to be taken to the 360th power. That is the entire top part of the fraction, so our numerator is 4072 and some decimals. I'm not going to round any decimals yet before calculating the denominator since I've got the power of the answer function. So I'll press the answer button again and divide by the whole denominator. Feel free to break this part up into smaller sections, but I'm going to practice using multiple parentheses. Looking at the bottom of the fraction, I see that the innermost grouping is 0 0.049 over 12, then the next will be including the plus one, and then the outer grouping is the denominator itself, so we'll need two open parentheses at the beginning. One plus another open parentheses for 0 0.049 divided by 12, then one closed parentheses for the division, and another closed parentheses to include the plus one when taking it to the 360th power using the caret button once more. Then all of this minus one will be our entire denominator, so I can close the parentheses here. Our final answer can then be rounded to the nearest dollar, which means that Marissa will pay $1,221 per month for a 30-year mortgage in Atlanta.